music. Let me see if I can play it. Here, hang on, I got it. I'm scared. I'll stay here. Did it start? What's up, hey, what's up, everybody? What's up? Good to see you guys. Play a little Green Man music. Yeah, Green Man music's the best. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> it wrecks every drone I have, though. I don't know why. Don't blame my songs for you. your bad piloting. <laughs> <laughs> So what's up, everybody? My favorite songs to play live. Always love playing that one. That was everything cool. I I can't get in the chat on live Streamyard for some reason. I don't know what's going on. I I, I have to go this, to the YouTube channel. This thing is totally jacked, man. I don't know what's up with it. I had the same problems last night. I think there's a big EMP attack going on or something because a hey, PBR street street gangs in the house. What's going on, what's PBR? Hey PBR. PBR, we got Chuck Bam in the house. What's up, guys? Chuck. Bam, what's going on? PBR got kicked out of Goof on I heard tonight. Is that true? Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. As the show. All right. So yeah. Um the Norm's here. What's up, Norm? Norm. 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 Norm was on the show. He wears a cowboy's jersey. All right. So I did talk to this guy on YouTube, but uh I'm a bear. We were fan. talking back and forth, but he didn't say either way if yes he'd come on or if i could use his footage but i don't really well, I don't think he'll mind so can, you, can you email him one more time and ask him hey we're gonna go on live do you mind if we share your show and next week we'll talk about it yeah if not there's a ton of stuff i can sh i can send you guys because like me and chuck bam and pbr and jocko were talking on offline all day and we were sharing like a lot of cool sh cool shit so the link I sent you, Gutter, is at uh, seven. It's almost right. at eight, eight minutes in. Eight minutes that's in. What, that's what I was talking about. But that's a guy that we were talking back and forth, and I asked him if I could use his footage, and he never really said either way. Or I asked him if he could come on live, too. He does live streams as well. But uh, as the show know, title is called. I could, probably, I could probably use it anyway. 537 subs. Final Death Star? Is that who you're talking about? Yeah. That's great. You know, I found a lot of great shows today, actually, in, be in between listening to, like, Manny and stuff. But uh, this looks interesting. This guy does his own live stream, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, He actually does his own oh, live streams. He um, He's actually had a couple sightings himself, and... Uh, he was sharing a couple of his uh, sightings through his uh, live streams. And you know what? I want to – do. You, you just want to show it, Gutter? I just want to yeah. show this, this one yeah. that I was talking to you about. All right. Yeah. So apparently – There it is. Rumor, there it right, is. Just, just wait. Just wait. All right. So apparently uh, there's rumor around that our military jets are chasing birds, right? Birds. Green man, you it's are. Rodan. <laughs> Rodan. I still think it's fucking Rodan. What can you right. tell me about Rodan? Uh, there's been a lot of volcanic uh, activity, and you know, hey, that's his thing. Is <laughs> so, on that, some uh, shit woke him up, pissed him but, off. Okay, so I was chasing the Navy pilots. I can't. Yeah. See so everybody's seeming to think we're chasing this these birds. Claiming them as UFO videos. That's awesome. That's that's sweet. I like that. I'm actually trying to find a picture of it, but you know, this dang Discord, it has so much stuff on it. Oh, you know what? Hang on. All right. So yeah, this is actually surprisingly enough, this is what people in our military jets are chasing. Not all right, gotta let's see, let's roll this. All right, this guy here. This is what I was just talking about. You want, you want, do you want me to play it? Yeah, Don't. play it out. Okay, so if you guys remember the gimbal video, all right, they claim as birds or you know, birds that fly five five hundred miles an hour. Check this out.
We got it, Gutter. Yeah. Hang on. Uh, one second. All right, I'm going to press play right now. Okay. Here we go. All right. You guys can hear? This is seven minutes. Okay, so this was the picture. This was a little bit of a farther away shot. Let's see if I can. There we go. KO, what's up, KO? Okay, there we go. All right, so let me see if I. Yeah, uh, so KO's the guy that we were going to talk to. Here's so this is the this is I, the I didn't hear you, object right here. Uh, right. I said uh, KO's so, the one I've been talking to. He, he was looking to talk to some experiencers. This is the guy who who you've been corresponding to. Right. Yeah, he's in our chat right now. How are oh, you doing, KO? Good to see KO? you. Oh, KO, what's up, hey. man? KO, doing, we're, man? Show, we're showing your video, brother. No, it's it's cool. Cool. This isn't his video. This is the other guy that. Uh, oh, it's a, it, but it's it's his show though, right? No, this isn't his show. This is another. This is the original guy that was oh, talking so to. Ko Ko shared this with you, and and he wants to discuss it. He no, <laughs> no. Ko wants to talk to uh, experiencers like us about, uh, I guess, their experience or something oh, like that. For sure. For sure. So, all right, but this the, the video doesn't pertain to KO. Okay. <laughs> now, if you if you look, it almost kind of looks like it's the uh, from Star Wars, the Slave One, kind of upside down. It's like that would be the tail. That would be where Boba Fett would be. Here's the two. I wings. love Boba Fett. Funny. But um, you know, when you look at it. All right, so does this not look like the gimbal helicopter? Right. That's definitely not the a bird they were chasing and, uh, uh, in the military. It has sort of, it's definitely, yeah, yeah, it definitely has there. a similar it shape. Might be sticking out there as well. You know, that was the first picture. So that was from a distance. So you can again see how far, like I said, it is from the, um, you know, from the, Boba Fett. the water. So it's hovering up there quite a bit. Now, if I can uh, share another one, I zoomed in on it. And uh, here's what we got. Just a second here. I gotta get glasses like this guy. I'll be able okay. To so here on. we go. Now this is the other picture. So I zoomed in here so you could get a better, uh, better look at it. And again, you know, it's kind of a weird. It's almost like a P shape, like the shape of a, a P or a bean, but it does have you know, this weird little thing there, which I don't really know. It's not a propeller. No, it's not. It's definitely not a helicopter. Uh, and you'll see from the video, it's it's even weird. But um, yeah. So that was that was the the still images that I took of this, you know, whatever this thing is. Okay. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Now I will show you the video. So this is kind of two videos. I kind of compiled them into one, um, where I take uh, I'm showing the whole of the object from where it's floating to what uh, where it goes. I guess you would say here. Let me just um, share this. It's all, it's up uh, for a little over here. You, right, it's so, up more. Actually, let me make sure I'm sharing the audio here. Yeah, he's going to show a video here. This thing moving around. Make sure I share audio. So here's the video yeah. we're, we're going to look at. All right, here's yeah. here we go. Now, uh, here it is. Here. Okay, so here you can see. Here I'm, it is. I'm so okay. blind. I gotta look. That's the object right there that I just showed you. The right, still. Right That's it right there. But they did the vertical. Kind of hanging out in the it's, sky. The vertical. Not really moving. Video is hard no, to see. Just kind of. In right, there. right, right. This is why everybody, when you capture videos or you know capture a UFO in a video, have the screen sideways. <laughs> I can't even capture. I I gotta move up, up to, to 1.50 kind of magnetism on my glasses. Show you the, yeah, <laughs> this isn't uh, faked or anything. This is an actual, you know, this, this is an actual uh, event that you're seeing here. So that's the moon there. Hmm. Not quite a full moon, but you know, pretty close. Again, this was um, July of uh, June or July. I think I said July. July of 2018. So there it is again there. You can see if I zoom in. Yeah. So there it is right there. Again, you can see that there. 
This one's a tough one to see, okay. but it, honestly, and I didn't see it after a now while. I, now, what I did was I stopped filming because it was just sitting there, and uh, and all of a sudden, you know, as we're standing there, it's it started moving, going across and descending. So when I picked up my camera, started filming again. So I could capture, you know, where it was going to go. So this is me now. This is probably, you know, maybe a few minutes later. It didn't really take too long. It was hovering in the sky for a little bit. Uh, but a few minutes later, it started moving. And now you can see here. Okay, it's right here. So you can see that dark little dark little object there, right, where the, right above the cursor, right there. Okay. So here, I'll keep it kind of zoomed in. So you can, ah, I might have to. Well, I'll pause it because I need to control it here, but I'll, uh, I'll, so there it is. So it's still right here, right there. What's up, Troy SR71? Good to see you, man. Big cat in the house. A lot of cool CDR. people. Now you keep seeing the big cat. We got the all stars okay. in the chat tonight. See the dark. Get game vet in the in the chat. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Interdimensional host. <laughs> well, let's see here. I'm gonna try to invite Ko to our uh, thing here. So I'll put it up in chat. Ko, if you want to talk to us, you can just click on the link, and yeah. then. You can feel free, feel free so to jump right in, here. Kale. Yeah, we'd like to talk to you. If you want to remain anonymous and not show your face on camera, you can always leave the camera um, blocked out so you don't turn the camera on. But we can yep. hear you talk through the microphone. Everybody on the panel tonight has seen a UFO. Yeah, I've seen it consistently. Pretty much every, everybody that's on the panel or in chat has seen something or... I heard of something. Now here, it's pot. It goes down in the water, right there. You can see it right there. Boom! It just went down in the water. So I'm gonna, re I'll rewind that. Uh, sure. It's a bit. Hard, it's a. It's a bit hard to see, game vet. Yeah, it's it's pretty tough, but. Well, well, everybody, I'll, you know what? I'll put the I'll put the link in the chat room, then people can check it out themselves. How about that? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. That'll work because um, yeah. The my my point is is that <clears throat> whatever this whatever this guy captured here, it looks identical to the gimbal video, which nobody can find other evidence of. And I just happened to stroll <laughs> upon it, looking at some other stuff. Um. So yeah, check out the video. It's really cool. The guy's really nice. I've been chatting with him back and forth. Um. But yeah, I mean it's it's amazing. It looks a lot like that gimbal video. So that was Where only was that two video? Years. Where was that, was that video taken? That was in California. Same neck of the woods. Right. So that's interesting. That's that's all I got for that. But uh but yeah, so huh. uh, let's see. KO says, okay, cool, join you guys when I can shortly. Go anonymous for the first time. If y'all don't mind, I don't mind at all. That's really cool. You know, um, I, you know, I, I, I look at it this way. You know, the more you talk about this stuff and get it out there, um, you know, and then it, it makes people aware about it. So, um, Gutter, he's, uh, he's my longtime hero, man. You, uh, he's been capturing stuff from way back in the day, and um, I know when I had my first sighting, I didn't know who to talk to or whatever. And I, you know, I've been watching Gutter's videos. I'm like, well, maybe I can contact this guy. I mean, he sees him outside. What the hell, you know? So I sent him an email, and we've been talking ever since. So, absolutely, uh, UFOs are definitely real, game vet. They're super real. Yeah. These things are super real. You, you guys have seen them. You know, they're unexplainable. There's, there's, you know, we can sit there and debate all day about what it is, and we can throw all our conjecture at it, and and uh, make hypotheses, and and uh, think we uh, ascertain the final definition of it. But we're we're never gonna get that answer. All we can do is sit here and talk about the observations that we had. Well, we'll right. see what the government has to say coming up with what they're going to disclose. You know. That well, there was a lot of news today, uh, Green Man. Uh, there, a lot of people were slapping themselves on the back 
saying that the CIA had come out and finally said that it's real. There, there was a bunch of people online talking about it. You had this Leslie Keen coming on with her TTSA bullshit. Uh, and this guy Blumenthal. I don't know if you guys saw the dark journalist live stream tonight. The guy's Ooh. phenomenal. He was ripping on these Leslie Keen. You know, Leslie Keen wrote a fake fabricated story about the O'Hare UFO. I actually talked to the first two guys that saw this shit, and uh, they said it was nothing that looked metallic. It looked like a big flat pancake in the sky. And <laughs> she, wrote a, she wrote a fluff story saying it looked like a big metallic saucer that now even UFO Jesus to this day keeps repeating online. You know, so this TTSA scam just keeps going and going. And you got all these, these propagandists now, like Leslie Kane and UFO Jesus, putting all this crap out. <clears throat> you know, I shared a link with you earlier tonight, uh, Game Vet, and it was from this guy, Lion's Ground. A lot of people don't like Lion's Ground, but he kind of he kind of goes off on uh, he kind of goes off on third phase and uh, Richie Goofon. I don't know if you guys want to watch it. Do you guys want to watch it? And then you got PBR pissing everybody off. What's up with that? <laughs> I didn't. I honestly, I didn't know anything about it. I I just heard about it, so I don't even know what happened. You guys are gonna have to fill me in on that one. No, um, you, know, you were talking about earlier SOR tonight, right? Uh, Doug, yeah. you knew offline. You had said that he was getting pissed off at people calling themselves journalists. Right. Now, now PBR does a similar thing to people that call themselves expert. He'll sit there and call them out, you know. And 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 PBR is not part of the club. He's like me. He's like Chuck Bam. He's like all these other people. We're not part of this UFO community, so but we're involved in it, and we like keeping it legit. And so PBR will call people out left and right. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm starting to see it more and more on YouTube. You'll see a lot more channels questioning everybody's real legitimacy, especially in regards to UFOs, because a lot of people just put out hoax story after hoax story after hoax story. Um. Not to, I don't want to break you up there, Gunner, but uh, can you switch the video so we can play that one? You want to so, play? You want to play the Lions Ground one? Yeah, let's do it. Everybody wants to see it. You sure? Yeah. I don't want to piss anybody off. I'm not here to piss anybody off. I, I like to be the better man, Doug, and walk away. You know what I'm uh, saying, Jim? You I, know what I'm saying too, buddy. You guys I, are, I, you guys I'm, are both term mofos, and and I like to reflect my 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 people that I hang out with. Right. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm a neutral guy here. I mean, I, I like everybody. No, hey, no. Area 503 is in the house. Um, Area 503 is here? What's up? I mean? I, I'm, not here to make, I'm not here to make anybody mad, okay? I'm just, you know, showing. <laughs> Some people are so sensitive, Doug, that, you know, you try to knock them off their high horse and tell them they're full of shit. They, they, won't, they won't go for it. And they'll come back at you and try to make you look stupid, you know? It, it, that's yeah. the type of people I want to deal with, to be honest with you. But you know, maybe I'll I'll, I'll make it work and figure it out. But well, know. maybe I don't know. It's up to you, man. You you know more than I do. I uh, there's the bottom. Let me let me start it over from the beginning. Go ahead, you guys. All right, if you guys want to see this video, if you're not going to be mad at me, hit one, and we'll play it. If you guys don't want to see it, <laughs> and you think you're going to get pissed off at me, hit two. That's it. Democracy, <laughs> we vote. So I know there's like a six second lag. So Tommy L's in the house. Tommy L. Tommy. Yeah. Area 503's in the house. In the you know who's super cool is Tommy. Tommy's a trucker just like you. Yeah. Uh, Tommy's cool. We got Dark Hour Paranormal. What's up, Michael? Dark Hour's here. Dark Hour, what's up, brother? Sorry, I missed your show last night. My my up, uh, wiped out by an EMP attack from a TRB3. All right, I don't know, guys. What do you think? It's up here, but okay, we got a one, one. The norm says three. <laughs> um, one, one, three. What is one? What do the numbers mean again? We got okay. One's to just play it, <laughs> wasn't it? I'm sorry, I think bad so. At these. so one's to play it, and nobody's gonna give a shit. Two's to not play it. All right, here we go. Okay, 11. 
Or one. Preparing you for well, they, both. Hey, just be prepared. They go off on third phase and goof on this guy Lion's Ground right here. This is Lion's Ground. False. Rawr. The two of O is just frozen water. In fact, not this shape, but oval. The pyramid is nothing less than the peak of a mountain. This topic was debunked by numerous debunkers throughout the years. Oh, In these 15 minutes, they have proven one thing, that's for sure. How alienized they are of our world, lack of knowledge, and lack of research. Hey, my name is Heathcliff, and welcome to Lion's Ground. We're here to make the now, better and safer I, 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 I've actually online content and simple digestible oh. education videos to help. I, I, right. I, the I've actually talked to this guy off a line on uh, Twitter a few times. He, he seems like he's... You know, he had this thing with a uh, secure team where he kind of he kind of uh, hijacked secure team and kind of, in my opinion, <laughs> um, ransomed the guy, you know. And so Heathcliff ain't that great of a person himself, but let's watch the video. Preparing you. <laughs> it was Tyler, though, right? This yeah. is Lion's Ground. False. The QFO is just frozen water. In fact, nobody? Not this shape, but oval. The pyramid is nothing less than the peak of a mountain. This topic was debunked by numerous debunkers throughout the years. In these 15 minutes, they have proven one thing, that's for sure. How alienized they are of our world, lack of knowledge, and lack of research. Hey, my name is Heathcliff, and welcome to Lion's Ground. <laughs> We're here to make the internet a better and safer place by fact-checking online content and simple digestible education videos to help you avoid falling victim. Now, if you're new here, make sure to click that red subscribe button below this video. And don't forget to enable the bell icon next to it. Do it, because the moment I publish a video, ping pong, you receive a notification. In the description, I always add additional information discussed in this video. Uh, I'm going to take Proskip and Apollo Asteria uh, because I don't know them and therefore I see no reason to analyze them. Uh, they come across, by the way, as people with a brain, intelligent people. Yeah, they got her. Hang on. Oaksers got no... T oh my god, look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> See now that that was the part I was talking about, you know. Uh, I'm not here to offend anybody, but I guess Heathcliff wanted to go after these guys. Video in question, yeah. I believe, in the description. But Mother Nature's mistake. Him, who claims that this is a UFO. This once again proved to me that there is someone more stupid than my mother. <laughs> yeah. and that's exactly how he looks like. My mom managed to spend hours and hours uh. searching. Or the keyboard key. You know, see, that's just not necessary, though, honestly. I don't care how much you don't like somebody. It's just uh, wrong. Ma! Mommy? Mommy? Hey, Mom! The meatloaf! I achieved five minutes. <laughs> and you exploit the world-famous Michael Jackson move. Ma! Photo. Ma! Fine. Then they rotate the photo to drive your brain. <laughs> then spit their theory. Wow, what an investigation. And oh, yes, this toothless clown. clown, clown, clown. He, he, he does the effects pretty weird. Let the mocking begin. Hey, guys, this is Tyler. I'm just uh, in lockdown mode, but I wanted to say. Nope, I think mocking you is more fun. <laughs> well, we're going to try it again, see if this works now. I'll be able to hear my voice go live. Wow. And I don't know. It's going out. Sticks to on the knock the theory to a piece of This guy puts some fucking time into it, man. <laughs> and Waller searches, of course, for the lowest point, gravity. And that is exactly where the water is located. You can see it. Evident in this photo. Okay, are you guys tired of this video yet? And the figures in the oval circle are ice cracks. Caused by tension, you know what? Caused by temperature change, and this has. You you gotta admit it. It it not. You know I like I kind of, I I, I like Brenton 
Blake Cousins. I think they're nice people. I think you always got to say that about people, but I think they're easy to pick apart. You know, Lions Grounds just taking his time and 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 ripping these guys apart. You know, I think uh, the third phase sets them own self up, and 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 Richie unfortunately kind of fell for it. Yeah. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Sorry. Nothing to do with Anunnaki. I have zoomed in and I added a bit of brightness and sharpness to bring back the details in the photo. And the round photo at the bottom left is a similar pond in Antarctica where you can clearly see similarities. It's not a UFO, it's a pond. And the reason it is so dark of color may have to do with the sun direction, satellite position, the weather conditions, the depth of the pond, the conditions of the bottom of the pond, etc. And if you look at the nearby environment, you can see that the frozen water have different type of shapes and brightness. Some are brighter, some are darker. So one, so I have added numbers in yellow, and those are zones. And zone one shows hills. And zone two, the elevation is clearly lower where the pond is located. If the water can escape, it surges, always surges for the lowest points. It's caused by gravity in zone two, of course. Zone three, the more you reach the outside of the pond, the shallower it gets. And this is clearly recognizable in the light, clear edge, as you can see. Whatever. Circle at all. That is clearly visible in the photo. And if I draw a circle over it, the claim is debunked, made by biased amateur YouTubers who only call themselves researchers to come across importance. Wow. And according to this thing, oh, oh sorry, man. it's no. Okay, him, the mountains are. <laughs> Of this one. Ooh. So you UFOs are being ridiculed by the media. You wonder how? How is that possible? Well, how is UFOlogy made implausible so that the mainstream media can say, hey, you see? You know what? I'm going to shut it off, dog. I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Man. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool, man. People can find it on them, their own. They can go look at Lion's Ground on YouTube themselves. Yeah, I don't I, mean, I, I don't want to be the type of person that kicks a man when he's down constantly, dog. You know what I'm saying, brother? Right. No, I, uh, I don't know. I, like I said, that was the first time I've ever seen that video, so yeah. I don't. Uh, but like I said, it's easy pickings. If you, you know, third phase, they set their own selves up for years and years. People would always say they put out the most basic bullshit, and now yeah. they're trying to come across as legit. And no <clears throat> one's falling for it, unfortunately. Well, that was a that was an old video to begin with when they pulled that out, and they all of a sudden wanted to discuss, you know, about it. And you know, I, I remember that video when it first came out, you know, and that was a long time ago. So I don't know why they bring it up now. I mean, it's like uh, bringing up, you know, shit on the moon or whatever, or bringing up Roswell all over again. Who cares? You it's know? very old. It is older stuff, that's for sure. But. You know, uh, Heathcliff has that thing of of trying to um, almost kind of ransom these guys. If you don't put out, you know, if you don't start paying Heathcliff money, uh, he's going to start coming after you uh, and putting out videos every day. That's how he operates. It's his, that's his M.O. Right. What, yeah, what no, I, I get it. Russian Mafia? Yeah, that's how he he works. You know, I saw with the Tyler, the secure team thing. You know, Tyler got two million uh, views. He had a, a lots of Patreons. He was getting tons of cash, and and uh, Heathcliff was like, "Hey, man, pay me, or I'm gonna start bashing you constantly." Sorry, you guys can see my refrigerator. <laughs> so Troy has a question. He said he he uh, heard the Tic Tac UFO is a prototype combat drone made by Boeing. And called, shoot, called the loyal wingman. Um, let me post that up. It will be deployed sometime in the next five years, and will replace the F-16. Any thoughts or opinions on that? Hmm. Green man, First what I've do you think? First, I've heard of it. 
You know, I go ahead. Oh, we got a guess. Oh, the only thing I oh, hi. Hi, KO. Yes, hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys? Good. Good, good. You have a new fan. Well, thank you. Nice. Appreciate that. Welcome to our group. Thank you so much. I was, um, you know, really happy that somebody answered my call to want to know if things are happening to other people. Oh, yeah. You know, and well, everything you guys said earlier was how what I said today and why I decided to talk to you okay. because the government is not going to do it. So what's left? You know, who matters? The people. If we right. don't do something, you know, that's how I really feel. Yeah. So and freaked out, too. I've never done this before. So if I break any rules, you have to tell me. No, no don't, don't freak out. Don't freak out. <laughs> yeah, don't freak out at all. Yeah, what are rules? Hey, hey, what's... Yeah, right? Here, I don't even know. What was it? Better? Can you hear my name? What, what's her name? What's that? Kale. What's your name? My name? Yeah. My name, uh, my real name? No, you can just... No, whatever. Kale. Yeah, do you want my real name? No, we don't need it. It's okay. It can be totally anonymous. It's all good here. Well, okay. Well, my name's Kimberly. That's okay. Well, okay. well Kimberly, don't don't be freaked out because lots of people have been seeing these things for years and years and years. So yeah. uh, you know, join yeah. join the join the club. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know actually, I'm not alone. I know actually, I'm well, definitely not alone. Right. That thank you so much. I really appreciate it. In fact, yeah. I'm definitely looking towards understanding a lot more and i'm even to the point recently where i've considered regression you know just in case there's anything i should know Re regression <laughs> might hearing. cause false memories though kimberly so you might want to yeah avoid yeah that's why right. it's only been researched and i hear it's very scary and i definitely by have not well, made up my mind because kimberly of what, what what is you your just said what does your consciousness know? What do you, what do you know uh, just been looking up in the sky? Have you seen a lot? What have you seen? Well, yeah. So my experiences are not that, you know, grand or anything, as I think I was telling um, another one of your members. But, um, oh, they gave that to me? Yeah, they, it's just that I have seen them, and I've seen things that other people don't believe and mm -hmm. wouldn't believe me if I said it to them. And I want to know, like, for instance, um, hovering for hours, you know, outside my mother's house, in fact. Yeah. Where, where do you live and at? I'm currently in Colorado. Okay. okay. This happened on the East Coast in southern Vermont. So okay. kind of like in that belt of the Hudson Valley. And oh, that's where wow. I used to reside. That's where I just moved from was the Hudson Valley. Okay. So... She's gonna have to talk to Dark Hour. That's where Dark Hour is from. Yeah, Dark yeah. Hour is in the chat right now. Um, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of activity over there, from what I hear and um, from what I see. You know, it's almost like you could not not look up in the sky at my mother's house and not see something. Wow. And I asked her the next day, "What is that direction?" And I pointed out where the thing was in the sky. What is the town over there, you know? Just because I couldn't really clock at first how far the thing was away. Mm -hmm. And um, she told me, well, I wonder if I should say the name of the town, but um, she told me that that town, when she was a kid, people used to drive up to like the top of the hill and, and UFO watch because there was a bunch of sightings there. And she's mm -hmm. a baby boomer like mid 60s right so my, mom, my mom's age yeah basically yeah. right yeah. That's cool. well kimberly what have you physically seen what objects have you seen so you yeah up? so the one that was hovering outside of her house the longest um hours and hours that was like i would say like your basic saucer if you will um it was like round and that metallic-y looking, but very colorful. 
okay. uh, around like the rim. Sure. And um, that's just what I remember, really. This, this was daytime or nighttime? This is nighttime. <laughs> and it, and it, it hung there for hours. Hours and hours, Ooh. and um, it it like moved a little bit. You know, it kind of moved like towards the right. It was moving, but this thing like. I felt like it was just staying with me. And did you? Did you? I tried to, to get pictures of this thing, and I could not, for the life of me, get a picture either. So that, I, yeah. I at some point, I was tearing her house apart, trying to get one of those, um, you know, one of those store-bought. Uh, what do you call it? You can throw them away. Yeah, There's, throw away camera. Disposable camera. So. Um, and I wanted to, like, my brother and my mother were there. I was visiting, and I wanted so badly to, like, run and wake them up. But I felt like, you know, I'm going to leave, and I'm going to wake the, these guys up. They're going to be so mad at me, and this thing's going to be gone. And at some point, I felt like I wanted to go to bed, and I couldn't understand why. Because I never, you know, there's no reason for me to sleep. I could stay awake if I needed to back in the day. You know what I mean? Like all night, no problem. And for some reason, I just had to go to bed. And I even had the thoughts like, are these things telling me to go to bed? Should I really be going to bed? Or should I somehow force myself to stay Kimberly, awake? Kimberly, what, what kind of feelings do you get? Do you get any emotional attachment to them? Do you feel negative? Do you feel positive when you have uh, these sightings? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like afraid necessarily. I, I never I'm very feel intrigued. Yeah. Like I want to know <laughs> what is happening. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's natural, a, natural feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I, honestly, so, I go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry. You guys go ahead. Take it over. That was a lot. It all comes out, and I can't believe it. Like, it's like, um, I, you know, back, I had my first sighting back in '93, and it's like ever since ever since I've seen uh, my first one. It got me hooked where I want to keep seeing them, yes. you know. And then I, yeah. I can't, I can't stress that. Um, well, I, I had the Illinois, I had the Illinois State MUFON director at my house after I kept telling him that I was seeing all this crazy stuff in the sky, and he had told me that I was, I was hyper vigilant, is what he called. Um, and I'm, <laughs> I'm always, I'm always looking in the sky looking for these things because I've right. seen them. Once. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so. it's not nice. That's it's not. There was uh, so I had a shared sighting as well, which was less up close. I you know you couldn't see anything but red light, and it was at <laughs> some point my it, okay. So it was my brother and I, and it was very close to the location of the other other sighting that I had by myself. But this one uh, was way before that. And so we're talking in his pickup truck and we're parked and we're having this conversation. And at some point, we're both staring straight ahead and not speaking for the longest time. And there is a red light and it is doing some kind of maneuvers that no conventional aircraft can do and I know like that that's been said before but that is exactly what's happening here mm -hmm. and I think as to why we're not speaking anymore and um, at some point he turned to me and said don't ever tell anybody that just happened and he was so serious mm -hmm. and I feel very guilty like right now why would you feel that don't feel so guilty. Just the way he said it, and like, I don't know. I felt like that you know, was Kimberly, like his Kimberly, secret to keep. Kimberly, let Sorry. me say something to you real quick. That yeah. that's that's his fear. That's his fear. Right. You know, yeah. let, let him let him have his fear of the subject. You are strong enough and brave enough to come here and talk to us about mm -hmm. what you've seen. So you're you're a tough Thank girl. You. you know what I'm saying? Thanks. You're you're a special person, and you know. Consider us your brothers now. We got your back. How's that sound? Yeah. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know. Um, I have a, I'm sorry. Uh, I have a question ahead. for you, Kimberly. Um, sure. Now, 
you, is your mom seen these for years before? Uh, okay. Because a, so, a lot of time it little it'll travel through the family and they'll watch, you know, yes. mother to daughter yeah. to so and so. Yes. And I exactly. I agree with that completely. And I believe she's had her own things that she's not willing to talk about. Um, but on the other hand, my dad is not afraid to talk about it. And um, so he has had his own experiences. And in fact, just like a few months ago, his sister, which is my aunt, told him, don't you remember another sighting that we had, but you were also there and dad, meaning my grandfather. So I know that my aunt and my grandfather on my dad's side have had multiple sightings way back in the day. And apparently one with my dad and her and he way back in the day from what my aunt is saying. And um, I think they were, I, I'll have to get back to you on that. But I, I believe they may have been like cigar shaped plus saucer shaped. Okay. But I'll have to get back to you on that. I'd really have to yeah. talk to him again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but um, yeah, my dad and my mom is not like willing to. She's afraid of what other people think. And that's unfortunate. But I feel like she's slowly breaking out of that. I think I'm breaking her. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it, it, you know you can talk to certain people and people just dismiss it altogether. They either don't yeah. want to talk about yeah. it or or they right. do and they're interested, but then they're like, "Oh, you're freaking me out. I don't want to talk to you anymore." You know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Like I drive a semi. Okay, I drive a semi oh, five cool. days a week, and the guy that I swap trailers with in Wisconsin. I've told them, you know, I've heard uh, a couple weeks ago, I heard these metal grinding sounds coming out of nowhere. And I said, did you hear anything like that driving up here? And he says, no, I haven't heard anything. He says, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. And then he'd just get in his truck and leave. I'm like, mm -hmm. really, really? You don't want to, you don't want to talk about, you know, talk about it or anything. Oh no, he will not talk about it at all. Yeah. Well, Doug, you yeah know I know people like that. Sorry. <laughs> That's all good. What, what what happens is, you know, I'll have sightings and there's somebody standing right next to me, and I'll be like, look at this golden ball of light in the daytime sky. And it's mm -hmm. glaring and it's bright and it's brilliant yeah. and it's there. And uh, you know, I had the neighbor guy who was mowing his lawn. I'm like, hey, look at this thing flying over. And he's like, well, What are you talking about? He was standing there with his granddaughter. He's like, I don't see anything. I don't see it, but later on that night, as I was walking through the gangway back to the house, I heard him telling his wife, oh, my God, you should have seen this gold ball of light I saw in the sky today. You know, but he, I guess he didn't want to scare his granddaughter. Right, that right. was my opinion. Or people just don't see it at all. Like, you'll see it, and then the guy next to you won't see it. Well, there's something to that game, Vet. There, there's something to it where I think, personally, the UFOs might – almost block someone like like a facebook or a twitter block you know yeah they might not even want to show themselves to you but right. it, it happens or maybe okay. something that they see themselves you know it's it's it, it, they don't know how to deal with it they don't know how to comprehend it so their brain makes it kind of take the shape more of a plane yeah, they don't know the how to express themselves. Yeah, it's you know, it's it, I, I don't I don't know what I'm seeing. Uh, brain, what do I do? What do I do? It's a plan. yeah, like a yeah. brain part. It's kind of yeah. like that sighting I had last Saturday. I don't know if you saw the picture on my uh, on this uh, uh, show for this tonight. It looks like a circular craft with a hole cut in the center or whatever, and with a notch out. That's basically what I saw last weekend right in front of my house. Um, and I open up the window and I, uh, cause my wife was like, why don't you look at the clouds outside, you know, make sure the tornado's not coming by or whatever, or see how the storm is. I just opened up the shade, look outside and I saw these lights outside and it looked like it was in a circular pattern like that. And the lights were on the inside of this, inside of the circle pointing out. Right. And I'm like, honey, come over here. You got to look at this. 
And she says, what, the plane outside? I'm like, no, you got to look at this. It's like, it looks like street lights. It, it was the same color as the street lights outside, but it was above the street lights. And I, uh, I said, no, come here, look at this. And then she opened up the blind. I got my phone almost to the window. And all of a sudden the lights just shut off like that. And it was gone, like totally vanished. And I look at her and I go, uh, plane, huh? The plane just doesn't up and vanish like that out of thin air, you know, or whatever. And she says, no, it doesn't. And then she just turned around, went to bed, and that was that. But, I mean, they do, uh, it seems like if they like you and they're, they're interested in what you're doing, um, things like that, they want to they just kind of, kind of, Kind of go by you, see, you know, see what you're doing. You seem interesting, you know, like kind of a creeper, but they, you know, they don't know how, how to express themselves. That's that's what I've noticed anyway um, in, my, I, in my experiences. I agree. I agree, Game Vet. You're, you're totally spot on. Yeah. I, uh, I've also had these <clears throat> stainless steel ball orbs uh, mm -hmm. just appear out of nowhere, you know, driving the truck down the highway. They were um, just sitting there on the side of the road where the cops did in between the two highways. There was three orbs, you know, one, two, three, and then two down below. They were just hovering over the road. I come driving by 65 miles an hour. I see it on the side of the road. I'm like, what the hell is that? No idea, you know? Wow. And then um, 20 minutes later, I had a coworker driving behind me. He comes in the same, you know, office I was in in the break room. He comes in the door like just, oh, and I'm like, you okay, bud? He's, he's like, yeah, I'll be right back. Just looked like a zombie. He turned in his paperwork. Um, he sat down at the table where I was at. I said, you okay, buddy? He says, yeah. I said, um, did you happen to see anything tonight? And I didn't say a word to him. And he says, you know, funny mm -hmm. thing you mentioned that, Dougie. He says, I saw these basketball stainless steel looking things. There's three of them and then two down below, and they're just hovering over the road. Now, this guy, he drove a top fuel dragster race car on the weekends, okay? Wow. And he just drove, you know, semi during the week like me. And that way when he told me this that way i knew i wasn't going nuts because i thought i was just literally losing it i really did i i had no idea but after him explaining that i'm like holy crap that actually happened you know what i mean that's a great story game vet you know what's uh interesting is that kimberly sees them with people as well so she gets the valid uh, you know valid what's the word i'm validation. looking for right validation yeah i was gonna say like that I feel like my family members are experiencing them, whether they know it or not. Yeah, you know, does, for instance, my brother was with me the one time, you know, that I know of. <clears throat> they were inside the house, both of them. So they were experiencing something that was just outside their, <laughs> just outside their home and they don't know it, you know? Yeah. And um, yeah, my dad's side of the family for sure. And mm -hmm. I was just going to ask you, though, um, just I didn't want to, like, go too crazy, but sure. <laughs> all, in, all in one. Yeah, um, just take your time. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, we usually Thanks. do this on the weekends. That's awesome. That's awesome. I definitely have looked up MUFON since I've been out here. And... Oh, you know. doesn't really do anything. Yeah, though, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You can never... forget, forget their number. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's I mean, good because they're kind of too far away anyway. Are they yeah, probably... You sound a little too old for them anyway there, Kimberly. Don't worry about them. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, I think pretty much 80% of everybody in chat right now have probably submitted a claim to MUFON, and yeah. they've received nothing from it. I received wow. a phone call from it from an investigator. He called me on the phone. And I haven't heard anything since. So, I mean, oh my goodness, they, they don't not, do anything. That's not it, even cool. If, if your sighting's not going to make it into a TV show for them, they're not going to respond. Yeah. That's how they work. Yeah. There you get go. a 14 year old to call in. Maybe they'll get you get back to you right away. Oh, what? Too soon? <laughs> 
I don't even have to know the story. I already know. Yeah, you heard about that. Okay. I haven't. <laughs> oh, you haven't? No, but oh, I already like, know the story. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. The CEO, yeah. The CEO got popped CEO. For trying to pick up a 13 year old. No yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's why I was saying that you sound too old. Not that you sound old, you just don't sound like you're No, old. I knew right away exactly where you were going with that. Holy yeah. moly. We don't mean to scare Definitely. you. That's just the story. And yeah, it, no. That's not I our mean, fault. <laughs> yeah, We no. didn't do that. <laughs> no doubt. Hey, Kimberly, I'm really feeling better about all your experiences that you're having. Are you feeling better? Um, yeah, I just, I just, yeah, I, I definitely am. I feel that, you know, I changed like a lot of things in my life too. Like I became vegan and I started meditating and, you know, I just. Wow, that's very insightful. You know why? Because uh, I, I had changed my life too after I saw them. Really? You know, I was a big Ooh. piece of shit back in the day. And, uh, <laughs> You know, ever since I saw them, I, I kind of wanted to uh, get my karma right. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Really? Do you agree with yes. that? Yes. Yeah. And I don't know. It's just getting getting your, yeah, I think you put it right. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I also wanted to ask, like, what you guys think about those experiences and paranormal experiences being like coinciding with each yeah. other in some um, way. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We, um, we got a guy in chat right now. His name's dark hour paranormal. He runs his own uh, show and all that stuff. And he deals in, Sweet. I think he deals in strictly the paranormal, right? He, he did. He does talk about UFOs too, but um mm -hmm. I think most of us will all agree that they both run hand in hand. Yeah. Um, ever since I had my UFO experience, I've had just a ton of paranormal stuff happening. It still happens yeah. to this day. Something follows wow. me around, and it's just crazy. I think you deal with that too, Gunnar, don't you? I, I agree with what Kimberly's saying. It's all attached. Ghosts, uh, Mothman, cryptids, uh, Bigfoot, UFOs. I think it's all part of the, Yeah, it's all part of the same Possibly. weird stuff, yeah. You know, we, yeah. we don't have a, we don't have an expl explanation for it, but we can sit here and uh, discuss all the conjecture for it. But I, I right. in my heart, of, my heart of hearts, I I agree with you. I was just yeah. gonna say the same. I agree with you. I think that just from keeping my eyes open ever since I noticed, you know, things happening. I'll I won't go into everything, but let's just put it this way: like I. I more than triple checked just to make sure I wasn't having electrical problems because, you know, I mean, that was just one thing. And so I had the electrical company come out so many times. They started refusing and kept telling me, you know, you're not going to have a fire. You're not going to have a fire. There's nothing wrong with your wires. Everything is like brand new. And, um, yeah, they well, you were know really what? sick of brings up an interesting aspect to this uh green man and game game vet uh electric electricity and and gas and and other things that affect with people's <laughs> minds they they could create these uh issues can't they mm -hmm. oh uh, yeah high, like yeah high, high uh uh like EMF level yeah emf levels they can uh cause hallucinations they can make you feel you know nauseous and right. sick and shit like that um gases can def I mean the gases can definitely fuck with you and put you out and make you see shit. You know. Yeah. <laughs> or even make you do different stuff that you wouldn't even think about doing. But, it's kinda like having it's kinda like having too much alcohol, you know, you just uh sometimes what's you just do huh? stuff you don't What's really. interesting to me is that Kimberly said she, after seeing them, she changed her life, and then she also mm -hmm. had her all her electricity checked. Isn't it something that like a normal person does if if they're thinking they're seeing this thing? Yeah, yeah I wanted to make sure that I wasn't having like brownouts and a fire wasn't going to start because I'm telling you, the that was just one symptom in that one house. And these symptoms happened in homes back to back. And it happens to be in the city most 
taunted. Um, so they say, and I actually uh, was given a book on that after I moved away from that place that I've never read just because of what I've gone through, but I, I have it. Um, yeah, so. So Kimberly, what exactly was happening that you uh, went, that actually you felt like you had to have the electrical going, you know, was it was the whole, was your unit? electrical just going out completely all the time or or lights flickering what was going on did we lose her Hello. Kimberly did you hear the question Kimberly are you there Don't speak of well, electrical problems. I think she said she was going to go just do something really quick. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a one minute break. I'll be right back. Okay. Did you uh, have any thing to bring to the table, uh, Michael? Hello. Hey, welcome hey. back. So, Can you hear so, us? Oh, or mic's off. Oh. oh, there you go. Can you hear us? Kimberly? Hmm. Oh, she's gone now. All right. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, everybody left. Oh man, Chuck Bam says hoodoo, not voodoo. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I don't know where gut where gutter go. I don't know. He said he was taking a minute. <laughs> uh, do what? Who knows? Probably okay, somebody tries in the chat here. There he is. I'm back. Sorry. Did we lose Kimberly? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, there she is. She's in the chat room still. We have to get more good, good, good. from Kimberly. She sounds very interesting. You yeah. know, yeah. you can you can pretty much feel from how she chats and how she talks. You can feel the emotion in her voice when she's yeah. discussing stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard that. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. You could hear in her voice that it was. Yeah, it was disturbing. Yeah, I mean, you can tell that she. She sounds, you know, a little scared in her voice and that, and that, and it really, it's, you know, it is scary at first. It really is. But it's always um, scary. I, I freak yeah. out every day, game vet. Yeah. You know, I, I tell people I got to sit there and laugh about this shit in chat rooms because if I sat there and thought about it all day, I would go nuts. You know, it's yeah. just the, it, the depth of it all. It's just you can't wrap your head around it. Right. Yeah. No, I agree. It's. uh yeah, every time you look back, you know, you're thinking, hey, it wasn't that bad, you know, because nothing really happens or whatever. But I know that's just the the feeling you get when you actually see something head on, you know, then you really uh, you really feel it. Then you feel this the scaredness of it. Well, you know? you know, I've been seeing these things so often that I get pissed off about it, asking why don't they come down to help us? You know, I, I keep bringing this question up constantly with everybody I talk to. But, you know, I have family members that are sick. I have a sister that's in a nursing home. You know, I would love to see her cured of her disease. You know, I would love to be able to fly in one minute to go see my granddaughter in Washington State. You know, it, it's these technologies that they don't share that, that, that upsets me. And, and it pisses me off where I can't figure out what their intentions are. A lot of the times that I see them, they, they seem to be happy. They seem to be polite. But other times I see them, they look dark and ominous. You know, so I'm really trying to figure this question out. Well, yeah. I depends on whether they've given it to us already and we're, they're not sharing it, the government and not sharing it with us. Because uh, there was uh, one of the you know, take it for what it's worth, but there was a deathbed confession uh, kind of video from uh, the guy that actually designed the SR-71. 
and was the head of the Skunk Works for a number of years. And Is this on? Was that on the Dolan show? Uh, I don't know if Dolan did it. I I found it on YouTube. Do, do, do you got a link? Maybe we could look at it real quick. Oh, dude, I'd have to hunt it down. Okay. Um, but and because that, we and, and it's like day. it's like it's like forty five minutes long, dude. It's this whole thing. But Maybe somebody this, in chat knows what we're talking about. But yeah, this you know the former head of the Skunk Works goes on, and he was saying that Lockheed has a machine that you step into, basically, and it can scan your body and basically, you know, Star Trek style, fucking heal your ass. Wow. You know, no, you know, eliminate tumors, you know, everything from head to toe can fix whatever the fuck ails you and never has to open you up at all. And Lockheed has this and has had it, but they won't let it come out because what would that do to big pharma? The whole medical industry would be gone. Well, well, yeah. fuck big pharma. In my opinion, they need well, to. Yeah. How well, come yeah, there's no that's... whistleblowers letting this technology be known to the public, man? I would love well, that's to what, that. That's that's what this old guy was was about. Was you know, it's like, hey, you know, the things that he'd seen over the years at Lockheed. You know, I've got to get this knowledge out before I go and let people know that hey, you know, there's some shit going on. That was, well, why is it always a deathbed confession, Green Man? Why can't they do this when they're alive and and well and in good conscience and have ethics and morals about it? Well, maybe because if they do it when they're younger, it will be kind of a deathbed confession because they'll get fucking taken out, right? You know? kill, kill their whole family, right? Yeah, dude. I got a one of the guys at my work. His grand he told me his grandpa is a former admiral from the navy. He did all kinds of shit in the CIA knows all kinds of stuff will not to this day do the guys like in his 90s or some shit will not utter a fucking word you know because he took oh, his oath sure. you know and he, you know he's not gonna hey, budge. Green, green man i'm cia oh, hey. green man i'm cia i'm, I'm cancer yeah. i'm irish and alcoholic <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have uh, KO and Kimberly back and PBRs on the stream. I don't think that'll get you into the Pentagon, Gutter. <laughs> I, at least I can admit I'm an alcoholic, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of those. Well, that makes it better. <laughs> Cheers. PBR, you got to turn down your mic. Cheers your with my fruit smoothie. Somebody's got to press mute on their YouTube. Yeah, it's PBR. Ooh, it's probably oh, me. I'm sorry, man. PBR, what's up, man? I can hear. I can barely hear you. Uh, PBR, are you there? I think your your mic on. There you are. PBR, you know. I, that was me, I think, man. Yeah, that was uh, me. Let me turn this down. Oh, you can barely hear me? How, how? Yeah, can you? Can you hear me? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I got to switch. I got to switch to another computer, man. All right. Yeah, I'm as. Uh, Go ahead and switch it, PBR. We'll be back. You know, PBR, I had him on the live stream the other day, and he broke down the Admiral Wilson documents in about 10 <laughs> seconds compared to everybody on that giant paddle for, for Grant Cameron. So I, I really enjoy what PBR has to say. Yeah. Okay, so welcome back, Keo. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, you guys are so good at this. Yeah. <laughs> Gutter's been doing this for quite a while. He's just you, really? you, sound, you sound a lot better, Kimberly. Oh, that's good. That's good. I've got backup headphones like you wouldn't believe. So some are better than others, depending on the day, I guess. Those so, were the ANC crushers, and they went out. I'm so sorry about that. 
So, Kimberly, let me ask you something. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out if these things are good or evil, if they have bad intent or good intent. What do you, what do you, what's your overall karma like? Do you think you've been a good person in this world? Uh, you know, I definitely have like votes in for, um, reincarnation. Like I wouldn't mind doing, I, I would say like overall, and especially in comparison, I feel pretty good about it. Like, especially I feel like this world is about like growing and maturing and learning it's all about learning you're supposed to be growing and learning i feel like till the day you die or you're really already dead you should still be like bettering yourself and learning and so you know and i feel like i'm making a conscious effort to do that and so you know i feel pretty uh, good about it (laughs) but you know it can always be better that's for sure A, a saint is a sinner that never gave up kimberly so just keep going that's right, you know. And yeah. the Buddhists, man, they have like I don't know. I'm if I'm not down with the organized religion. I'm all about the golden rules of not going out of your way to hurt anyone else, do unto others, no right. lying, no cheating, no stealing, all that good stuff. Right. But um, you know, the Buddhists had some good points, man. You know, and their their way of staying still and going inside i feel like there's a lot of powers inside the humans that aren't accessed a lot of knowledge is kept from us and you have to go in i feel to go out as they say you know beautifully said huge Mm -hmm. (laughs) and have fruit smoothies stop eating like you know other people's fear i don't know save the world eat a eat a vegan pizza (laughs) <laughs> right yeah well, I like pizza, so. it's, it's enough good. preaching for one day i think but yeah that's definitely how i feel about it right. well, it, it's interesting how the ufos affect people's souls you know what i'm saying green man yeah yeah that's awesome so you feel that the same thing happened to you so is that is that something maybe that's like a trend people that are kind of, I don't know, I guess they're calling people like becoming awake or more aware or more consciously aware. Well, you already have, Kimberly, you, you've already had those thoughts in your brain and in your soul. And I think what the UFOs do is just push us over the edge to the good side. That's right. awesome. I, I cannot disagree with that. You know, because I do feel like you are who you are from the day you're born, kind of, you know, not that you can't better yourself, but, right. you know, it's kind of, that's beautiful. Are you on Discord, Kimberly? My headphones just go out again. Another pair. Okay. Well, we, we can still hear you. Yep. Yeah. Can you hear us? We still got you. She might not be able to hear us, guys. Said her headphones went out. Nope. Well, I hate it when that happens. No, it's because oh. Yeah, well, we can hear you. You hear us? Kimberly's a little sweetheart, isn't she? She sounds really uh, great. I, I really like the way she's vibing with us tonight. She's really vibing pretty good. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what it's gonna yeah. It's probably be a good fit in the UBR group. Yeah, you have you have Foster Discord. Uh, you got to yeah. get her on there. And uh, uh, what other groups can she join? There's some Twitter stuff going on. I have a Twitter account. I got a YouTube account. I hope, I hope she joins that. That's fun. The YouTube. you know, I think we have a great little community going along. And it's nice when you run into people like community that are uh, community. I called Kimberly community. I said, uh, I, I really like our community that we have, our little groups. And uh, she fits in pretty nicely, doesn't she? Right. Game, game vet founder. Game vet's the coolest one. Yeah. Yeah, I just um, I was reading some uh, some posts or whatever on um, YouTube, 
and she was looking for somebody to talk to um, who experienced this stuff. And uh, I just shot out to her. I didn't know if I'd hear back or whatever. And well, see said, what you, well, did you put some positive energy into it, game uh, game vet. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I feel good. I'm, I'm glad she uh, contacted us, and that's awesome. So it and, looks like you know, you're big dog. Are you working out or something too? It looks like you're slimming down some a little bit, buddy. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> a little bit. I'm trying to. I'm trying to cut back on all the junk food I eat. You, well, look, you, know, just, you look great. You look really good. I sit in a semi all, all night, you know, so there's yeah, nothing dude. to do. Yeah, that's part of the being on the road, period, man. It, yeah, you know, driving all day, dude. I eat like a fucking cockroach. Just don't take the no dos, man. You're right. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's okay, uh, Kimberly. It's fine. She says that she went, uh, she said that's embarrassing onto the third and fully charged B pro, B, PB pros. Well, we could try it again. We're not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who comes yeah. back at our time? Good. Yeah. Good. We're, we're yeah. Always, I think all of us are always online talking about something all night anyway. Oh, so. yeah. It's, it's all week. I mean, you have, yeah. um, you have you know, my show, which is like the Jerry Springer of all any other show. <laughs> um, then you have, have gutters, you have gutter, the Gutter Gawker show. You have uh, Dark Hour Paranormal. You have uh rick's realm you have uh area 503 yeah area 503 he does uh the ufo videos yeah the ufo buster now on thursday UFO for the freak out. Yeah, yeah ufo buster radio he um he does the news about ufos and about space technology and it's a really quirky kind of funny he he puts his own spin on it and it's just hilarious I'll, I'll be sitting there driving in my truck, just crying, laughing so hard because the guy's just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and then you know, we I know there's a little rip right now, but uh, most of these guys in chat here they listen to uh, Richie Goof on the Goof on Radio stream. Hey, so, Blue Chicken's here. What's up, Blue Chicken? Hey, Blue Chicken. Hi, Blue Chicken. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. To I'm going to go to Sydney and pet your flowers pretty soon, buddy. I, I think I have plane tickets to Sydney. I'm going to be coming out, man. Make yeah, him buy you dinner first, BC. <laughs> KO, it's okay. You you did uh, fabulous on your first time on here. So Yeah, um, yeah you did great. I, I, I wasn't prepared today. I got on here late as usual. The kid wouldn't go to bed. So uh, we can do a test run some other time, and I can show you how – how the stuff works and stuff like that. I'd love to have you back on here again and talk to you. So that was fun. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm glad you uh yeah, glad Kimberly's you, awesome. Yeah, you are awesome. Thank you. If everybody here, if you look in back on chat here, everybody was just wowed by you. Everybody thought you're awesome and um yeah we'd like to have you back. So you're just you're great. Um yeah nothing to worry about. We're all friends here. I think we talk to every, you know, everybody that's in the chat right now, we all talk to, you know, it's the same people in every show that I was talking about. And it's like, you know, we're, we're one big community. So if we, if, like I said, if I don't have a show, Gutter has a show. If Gutter doesn't have a show, you know, 503 does or whoever. It's just, it's awesome. Can yeah, you put a link in, uh, when do you guys put the link to the Discord? Yeah, I will right now. There? I'll do yeah, it. Exactly. Thanks, Kimberly, if, yeah, if you're looking for a place to hear and tell stories and talk to others, that's the place because it's a room chuck full of guys that are talking about it all day long. Right. Here we well, got PBR's back here. Hey, PBR, PBR, what up, man? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, guys. What Good up, show, PBR? Good show. Good Thank show. You. Uh, it's the first time I see your face, man. What's that? It's the first time I've seen you. Oh, first time you see me? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I've got her in uh, Green Man I, I've seen before. Okay. But, uh, but uh, what I wanted to call in about was that uh, was that article in the U New York Times. Oh, yeah. That everybody's talking about that dropped on, uh, what was it, the 24th? Yeah, dropped on Friday. And 
what it was is nothing, man. It was all they did was like uh, Tucker Carlson. He quoted Eric Davis again. He said Eric Davis guy. Okay, yeah. he says, "Oh, they're off world." Oh, man, I have this. This is the craziest shit. Off world, not made by him. Off world vehicle. Okay, here's what he said. Off world vehicles not made on this earth. Yeah. Off world and not on earth in the same sentence. You know, <laughs> if ever, if anybody, if any of you guys or anybody in the chat has a uh, Google search this guy, Eric Davis, Eric W. Davis. You'll see what a goofball he is. I mean, I, I wouldn't trust him to air up the tires of my cool, my cool, my cool Sentra. You know, it, was it 33 pounds? I don't know. This guy is a nut. And they're, and they're they, on the New York Times article, all it was, all the other bull. BS is a short article, by the way, was a quote from him saying, let me see it again, off-world vehicles not made on this earth. Does that make any sense? That kind of, that sentence? Yeah. Yes. Off-world vehicles is good enough, but right. he goes, off-world vehicles not made on this earth. But it sounds like they said two different things, though, if you really pay attention to it. They said um, off-world vehicles that they just found, but yet in another in another article, it said that they had them for years or over over centuries. Uh, right? they, they, uh, the New York Times came out and they fixed that, that read quote. Read, uh, Harry Reid said, Oh, we got them. We've been looking. For, we've been looking at them for decades. That's it. Yeah. And Harry Reid got on that line and said, "Hey, I didn't say that. I said we may have them, and we should look at the materials." So they sw they switched their article from the twenty third was the Thursday, and then they switched it with the with this correction on the twenty fourth. In other words, they lied again. New York Times, all they do is lie. Right. I can a quote here. Uh, and okay, here it's, here's what they said. An earlier version of this article inaccurately rendered. What the hell does that mean, rendered? I thought rendered has a has to do with, with video. Inaccurately, inaccurately rendered remarks attributed to Harry Reid. He said he believed that crashes of objects of unknown origin may have occurred. And that, and that the, mirror, the materials should be studied. He did not say that crashes had occurred and that retrieved materials have been studied frequently for decades. So they were totally wrong. They just misquoted the guy and they had to fix it within 24 hours. Now, the other guys, all these other, you know, the, the nutcases are out there saying, oh, that's because. Uh, the government got to them and uh, made them made them change the article. No, no, it, 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 no, no. The whole article. If you look at the whole article, it was just a quote by that goofball Eric Davis. That was it. Not made by human hands, you know. Well, you have, you, have you guys read the article? Have you read the article, GG? Right, you, Admiral Wilson denied he even said that. Yeah, he denied he was even in Las Vegas, <laughs> which is a good thing. Which is a which is kind of cool because he didn't, you know, he could have been in Vegas and denied he met this guy Davis, but he denied he was even in Las Vegas. I, I want to hear Green Man's opinion about all this. Yeah, Green Man, let's hear you. Well, I want to know. To me, it's we will that we'll really see. You know, they're gonna they're saying now we're going to say we're going to say. I want to see what they say because, yeah. dude, dude, why now? Why like this? Why in the middle of all this shit? 
are they trying to cover up something else with file with and the only thing they have big enough to cover this blunder with is this this yeah this you know, what the fuck are they if that's a situation what are they hiding you know <laughs> what are they trying to draw our attention away from now, good que good question but the guys like that Bob McGuire and uh Dolan and uh and uh all those guys are saying, oh, there's a big article coming out. It's going to be huge. It's going to be, it's going to, you know, it's going to rock the world. And this is it. It's a, it's a, it's a bunch of, it's a piece of shit. It's that, yeah. fucking, uh, excuse my language, it's that, it's that Eric Davis guy. The whole, and, and, and I'm sorry, dude, man. No, I was saying it's garbage, PBR. It's all dog shit. It's dog shit. Okay. Dog shit. Yeah, it may, like the second release of information they did a few years ago about <laughs> Roswell. It's like, oh, yeah, it yeah. wasn't a weather balloon. It was this smoke balloon. It, oh, and it, it, it had a dummy on it. And that's what... Nuclear... nuclear. Yank it again, dude. Just yank it again. So, yeah. so if this is what they're waiting for, and this is what they were waiting for, this big article, it's a blow up. And uh, now they're saying, "Oh, there's a new article coming out." You know, <laughs> there's a, there's more coming out soon. That's their story. You know, man. Yeah, there's always more. There's always more PR. Yeah. You know, yeah. Leslie King's gonna keep writing her propaganda for TTSA to keep you guys watching. The unidentified bullshit show. So you know, I, I you know I prefer to watch shows like this on YouTube where it's normal people talking and it's people like Kimberly calling in and she's saying, "Hey, I'm seeing this stuff, guys. What does it mean? Isn't this a way better show than an unidentified game vet show tonight?" Hmm. I think so. I'd say I it was think way so. better. I think so. I mean, it's that article was. Man, what a letdown that was. I mean, for everybody, even the detractors, the detractors are going, what? I mean, they, they, they don't even have to detract. The whole article was a detraction. It's like a, I said, a, a repeat, a repeat of other stuff that we've been talking about for a couple of years, at least a couple of years. Yeah. You know, it's all keep on. They keep on rehashing PBR. Why? Why is it always rehash of some rehash that's been rehashed? <laughs> I think that's because they all. That's all they got. You know, that's all they got. I, I was listening to this guy named. Uh, you guys check him out tonight. His name was uh, Stephen Crimea or something. He has a little YouTube show. He's got a lot of you uh, Twitter followers, but he did this show called The Dirt on Dolan tonight, and oh, he. Really? Really he really goes line by line on 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 how this Dolan just keeps on putting out hoax after hoax after hoax, and yet these people are still on the con UFO convention circuit, and everybody's still buying all their crap. No kidding. Well, where was this at? I'll send you the link on Twitter, PBR. Okay, uh, cool. It's a pretty good show, but you know, I you know, he reminded me of you, where you love to call these people out, PBR. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, Dolan. Oh man, you see, yeah. I don't trust that guy as far as I could throw him, man. Who's that, Lou Elizondo? No, uh, Richard Dolan. <laughs> and, and well, Elizondo. Here's the guy that's supposed to be in charge of this UFO uh, task force. In the government, and he's covered with fucking tattoos. I mean, what the fuck? I want to see that in a certain time. Yeah. I'm sorry. Right. I mean, that's old school. I'm sorry. You know, I like to joke around, man. That's uh, that's oh. that's good stuff. Hey, uh, hey, bros, I gotta bounce downstairs. I gotta take care of business. I'll try. If you guys are still live, I'll be back on in like five minutes. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Good. My bad. I'll be back. But yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. You see that picture they had in the New York Times of uh of uh of a uh, of a uh, Elizondo? He looked like he was a wrestler. 
So. Yeah. Or like he was trying to be a cover of the something magazine. I'm not going to say right now. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. I'm thinking, okay, I want the guy that's in charge of the U. Now they're calling it the UFO UFO Task Force, or maybe it's the UAP Task Force. All right. Here he is, covered with fucking tattoos. Man, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe I'm, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> man, 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 I got the article, man. I, I copied it. I read it like four times. Then I uh, copied it and posted it to my uh, word pad. And I highlighted certain stuff. So, yeah, I went through the whole thing. And the whole thing, you guys, game and green man, the whole thing was a quote by that nutball. Eric Davis, off-world vehicles not made on this earth, quote unquote. Right. Show me something. I mean, come on. I mean, that was it. The whole article, and he's already said that like I don't know how many times. Have you ever seen him on uh, on YouTube? He's all over the place. I mean, if you look at him, man, you wouldn't. Three man game. You wouldn't trust this guy for nothing. He's got like, oh man, he's got a whole bunch of videos out there talking about this and that. Right. Yeah, but you, once you look at him, you're going, what? This this is a astrophysic. I'm thinking that this company he works for, they they called it out in the article. He's now working for. Uh, where is it? Uh. uh Oh, let me get it. Let me get it. Oh, now he works for, okay. Mr. Davis now works for Aerospace Corporation. Okay. And then he said, uh, and then he said he had classified briefings and told them about off-world vehicles not made on this earth, quote unquote. Right, I'm, right. Thinking, I'm thinking uh, Aerospace Corporation is going to fire him tomorrow. <laughs> or maybe Monday. Maybe they'll wait till Monday. Don't fire his fucking ass. Right. I would. I would. I'd fucking shit can him. I'd say, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Excuse my language. You're saying this shit, you have nothing to back it up with. So yeah, he's in uh he's in he's in trouble. I think Absolutely. Yeah. The article is only like 250, maybe maybe 300 words. I don't know. Yeah. And, most, and most of that is just a repeat of other stuff, of stuff we've been hearing about for years, man. Gosh. And this is the big article they've been waiting on. Remember? You guys heard it, right? How they're, big, how they're building this up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. It's just ridiculous. They, they do that just for hype and views on the, on the show. You think they're just doing it for a uh, hype? Yeah, maybe. You're, yeah, I think you're right. I haven't even caught it on any like TV news stations. You know, it's no. everything no. I've seen is is all no. been online. The TV news isn't even paying any attention to it. Right. It's like nothing. It's a nothing burger. Is the thing. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. A nothing burger. And uh, they've been they've been. They've been building this up, building this up like uh what's his name? Uh Grant Cameron and that Joe Joe, what's his face? The cameraman that got fired from uh from uh Pawn Stars. He got fired, he was a cameraman on Pawn Stars, got fired and went full fucking UFO after that. I'm not sure why he was fired, but he was fired. Oh, I don't know. Because no, no, huh? I can't even keep up anymore. These stupid stories. It's like they, I don't know. It's like they, somebody comes up with shit. Oh, maybe we should say this this week. Maybe we should say this next week. You know, it's just, you, you can't keep up, man. Yeah. Yeah. Engineered confusion. Engineered confusion. I like that. That's good. Yeah. yeah. 
and then they have this. They've been waiting for months about the big article. It's gonna fall. It's gonna it's gonna prove all this and all that. But yet they couldn't even say it right when they came up with the story. Huh? Then they couldn't even say it right when they came up with the story. They said, "Oh, it's it's this. Oh no, it's this." It's like, come on, people, you can't even say it right. No. Huh? And I looked I looked around at that. Uh, what's his face? Uh, the guy who wrote it, Blumenthal. He's he's not a year. He's supposedly he got a well, which means nothing these days. He got a Pulitzer Prize, and but I looked him up, and he's he's a goofball. <laughs> he's, a, he's a goofball. He goes, you know, it, it, the uh, the article in the Times had about three hundred. Well, when I saw it, had three hundred forty eight comments, and I read them, you know. And he's going, oh, yeah. One guy said, hey, what about this Eric Davis? He's a nut. And then Blumenthal says, we have, he, we checked him out, and he's very credible. I'm thinking, what? Have you ever seen, just Google that guy, Eric W. Davis, and you'll see these videos, guys, that are just wacko. They're, <laughs> this guy is not really believable. Unless he comes off better, you know, face to face, I don't know. But his videos are like very, very, very shaky, man. You guys read the article, right? Both of you? Yeah. Yeah. It's really short. It's a short article. But uh, I don't know, man. It's like. I've grown bored with it already. You know, I honestly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am too, man. That's a good point. I'm bored with it already. Uh, I honestly, you know, I know Gutter hates it. Um, that hates I, it. He, he hates, you know, well, Gutter has his own view right now on certain people. But, uh, you know, I was listening to uh, Rich's show the other night. Right. And um, he had a he had an actually kind of kind of good idea. OK, he was talking about having um, a UFO hunt or whatever, you know, live, which, you know, gutter kind of started anyway, but whatever. But then I thought, you know what, why don't we kind of make this global? Since we all have our own channels and all this stuff, we should pick like one night. And I think what would be really sweet is if every, you know, all of us guys, we get our channels up and going. We kind of interlink our channels together and then just have a one night call out UFO night or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. You know, UFO buster call out or something. I don't know. I think that'd be pretty fun, actually. To have all the channels all outside at the same night, same time, calling them out and see what happens. And watch the whole world explode or something. Is uh, you know, I mean, it'd yeah. be like it'd be like uh, break. You know, what was that break in the area five hundred three or something? Or area fifty one. Five hundred three. Um, storm area fifty one. Yeah, storm area fifty one. It'd be like that. Only calling them out. Like calling out what? Like they're outside looking up in the sky or? Yeah, calling them out like, hey, show yourself, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, you know, hey, you know, we want to see you show yourself. And since everybody's all over the world, I think that'd be kind of neat, you know. Okay, like a mind, a mind mill thing. like. Yeah, so we're not everybody at the same time, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see if, yeah. They re see if they react, you know. Yeah. Two thousand, yeah. thousands of people saying. Show us what you got. Show us. Right. Well, we can't rely on the government. They're not going to say no matter what. They'll say, oh, whoa, look at this. We kind of have this, but we're not going to tell you about it. It's like, you know, yeah. oh, you want this cookie? You want this cookie right yeah, here? Yeah, exactly. Huh. Where'd it go? I don't have a, I don't have one. Yeah. yeah. Squirrel. Look at the squirrel. Where is yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's the classic carrot in front of the donkey, man. Yeah. You know. Well, I just I'm. That I'm sounds of fun, it. man. That sounds fun, game bit. Yeah, but you know, with uh, Richie, you never can tell if he's gonna follow through or. Yeah, I mean, I I just like to have fun, man. You know, my my dad passed yeah. away here a couple of years ago, 
He passed okay. away from Alzheimer's. And you know what? He says, you know, the one thing my dad always said to me, he says, no matter what you do, you got to have fun. And you know right. what? I mean, right. Right. We have we have just, in a, in a, I think it's a historic, historical amount of people right now on my yeah. channel that actually have their own channel. And we, we you know, coincide with each other. We, we watch each other's channels, stuff like that. I think that would be just a historical event to have us all in one place recording at the same time, just calling them out saying, yeah. all right, UFOs, show me what you got, you know. Of course, man. And, Kind of like on Christine when he knew the car was alive and he says, all right, show me, you know, and the car was destroyed and it just comes back to life. I think that'd be the shit. Oh, that's the sh that is the shit, man. That's cool. It's a good idea. In other words, yeah. all, the, all the people focusing on that event, like... Well, you know what would make uh, the world believe in UFOs is a, a is a big mass live stream sighting. I it would be pretty hard to hoax. Yeah, it would. Yeah, because you know you got gutter in Chicago. I'm in Minnesota. You have Green Man in what California? You said. Yeah. Yep. San Diego. Yeah. Um, yeah. Area five hundred three Manny. I forget where he's at. Houston. I'm in Montana. I'm in Montana. I used to live in. San Diego. I live in normal, normal heights, man. Great. Yeah. PBR, PBR, what's the name of the wilderness you live next to again? Bob Marshall. Bob Marshall. What what made you go out to Bob Marshall's wilderness? I don't know. I was I was kind of raised in the eastern part of Montana. Okay. And uh -huh. I had some I had some issues with my back. Man, my back, you know, lot of yada yada yada. Everybody has problems. Right. But uh, the the main VA hospital is here in uh, in Western Montana, so I kind of came here. But uh, I like it up here. I mean, it, it's like even though the governor is a Democrat and he has said, and he just passed a rule. What was it? Four days ago. Now we all have to wear masks. I'm going fuck you, man. So I play the game. I have a little. I look like a. I look like one of those bandits in the old movies. I know. Isn't it, it's I, probably the greatest time to rob banks right now? I, I, use a, I use a bandana. I don't wear those stupid masks. But they all he said was it has to be fabric or it could be cloth. Well, the the white ones you see people wear those look cloth. Well, I have a I have a, a bandana. I look like a I look like a fucking bank robber. PBR, have you have you been tested? No, fuck no. It's fake, man. The whole thing's fake. It's fake. It's all fake. I'm not gonna have someone shove a thing up my nose. Fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. Have you seen that? Have you ever seen him do it on video? Yeah. That thing goes up like whoa. And I'm going, you know. Besides that, it's fake. It's all fake. It's all bullshit. In the whole PBR, world, PBR, PBR, there's a lot of people dying from this virus. You know, people even, die. People die, Gutter. People die. I, I know people die. You know, people, people, die. Probably, people die from all kinds of things. I can walk out right. and get hit by a helicopter tomorrow. You know, yeah, hit by a bus. You know? No, I mean, people they have no. Uh, I think it's fake. I think this whole thing is fake. It's just to fuck with Trump, man. I think, you know. Good or bad, Trump, they want to fuck with him. So this, have anybody, okay, me, I have never met anybody that had COVID. Have you guys? Um, Yeah. You met a guy that had COVID? Uh, my wife is, is a nurse and uh, got it through, uh, through her work and yeah. kind of gave it to me. Oh, really? Yeah. You got it too, green man? Yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just it, it hit me real light, but it hit her like a ton of bricks. Oh wow, I've heard that. So, like uh, Green Man, what, what was your experience? I, I, I want to hear this. Well, you, you, you it, didn't feel it at all. It went past you. You got tested. Now you're negative. You do well, you have? I, 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 never, I, I, never, I never, I never got tested. Uh, my wife got tested twice. But uh, and it came back negative both times, but the doctors didn't believe the test. They said it was like only about like 30 percent accurate. So they were like, you've got all the symptoms, you know, you're going through all the shit. 
the test is bullshit. You know, there's, it's wow. got to be that, you know, and, you know, for her, it, it laid her out for days at a time and then she'd start feeling like she was better and then she'd get laid out again, you know, and that happened on and off for like two weeks. And, you know, finally she started pulling around for me, you know, I would, I would feel it come and go in waves the same, but it didn't hit me as hard, but I also kind of tried to stay up and moving and doing stuff. So, you know, I'd go out and I, you know, into the, my wood shop and I'd start working on something to, to keep busy and keep up moving because, right. you know, I'm like, all right, well, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to let it, you know, get one up on me, but it, yeah, it, it, maybe, it, it worked a maybe, number on her. I think it's over. I think it's over blown. You know, I, I think PBR has a point. It might be overblown, yeah. you know. Yeah. But there are some people dying, but it, it's probably yeah. overblown. Yeah, there's people dying from uh, the flu. They, you know, some some years of the flu kills, what was it, 60,000 60, people in 2016 died from the flu. Now, we doubled that. Well, I guess we doubled it. You can't trust the numbers. Because there, you know, a guy gets a, a twenty. I heard about a twenty-three-year-old on a motorcycle crashed and died, and they said he died from COVID. Yeah, we had that here uh, last week. A guy got in a serious car accident. Um, they said the car accident. Um, they said, yeah, they said the car accident didn't kill him. The jaws of life opening up the car didn't kill him. And they got him out of the car. Um, they basically, he was in two pieces. But COVID killed him. Oh. Like, are you kidding me right now? How is that How is that even possible? Oh, wow. COVID chopped his ass in half? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, man. It's like, That's well, a virus. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of those stories, game. There's a lot of those out there. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. But these hospitals get a lot of money from the government if they claim COVID is what I'm understanding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like here in Minnesota, if you look at the numbers, all the flu numbers, are, they said it's the all-time low in the past. From the past <laughs> five years, we've had the all-time low. Well, no shit. Yeah, they're blaming you know? it all on COVID. Yeah. Right. COVID. Well, yeah. Maybe these Who's, people that die don't have health insurance, and so they'll blame it on COVID, so they get the money from the government to pay for all the expenses. Right. Well, that's a good point, man. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, and who's really going to win when they do come out with a vaccine? Do you, do I'm you not, know? I'm you not going to take it, man. I'm not going to let them the, shoot that The shit. drug companies. Green, Green Man, yeah, do you think, yeah, think yeah. about the Warm scale? Food. Think about the scale to mass produce all these uh, vaccines, though, that's going to be needed. Do you, do you know what a big operation that's going to be? That's going to be huge. Yes. They're going to try. Yeah, they're going to try and vaccinate the entire planet, I bet. Right. Yeah, yeah. Market with bees, man. I, I'm not going to let them poke me in the arm. No way, man. No fucking way. I'm not, I took the, I had the yeah. flu shot one time. It made me sicker than hell. Yeah. I, never, I don't get it. those fucking things. The hell with the flu oh. shot. I did it once because I thought about my the people I were living. I was living with, the, you know. I said, "I'm gonna get them sick, so I'm gonna take the shot." Man, it fucked me up. I I got a penicillin shot in the Marine Corps. I, I had no idea I was allergic to it. I almost died that day. It was the craziest feeling I ever had. I, I never. I, I hate getting oh. shots. Yeah. Oh man. And when I go to work, they're going to say, oh, you have a cough, you have COVID. And I'm going to say, no, I have allergies. Yeah, that's bull you know, isn't that bullshit? That's just fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, game, game just coughed into his elbow. COVID. Right. But, yeah, when I go back to work Monday, they're going to say, oh, you have a cough. You can't come into work for two weeks. I'm going to say, no, it's my allergies, man. COVID. They're going to say, no. We're going to test. That's bullshit. Man. You know what's right? You know what's weird to me is that uh, PBR lives in the middle of the wilderness, so he no must no he way. must see UFOs constantly. There's no, nothing. Oh, I'm not out there looking at the sky as much as I should. I really oh, see you up there. How come you don't take advantage of that? They got the biggest, uh, be most beautiful no. skies ever. No. Yeah. No. I, you know, I, I I should I should go out and look more. You know, like my I had a girlfriend. She laid on her trampoline. And at night, you know, lift wow. up, 
guy because this guy is clear like you're saying but uh uh i don't i don't do that i mean i mean after after like two or three four five minutes i go okay i'm done <laughs> but you told me pbr you had a ufo experience a long time ago uh i had a uh okay what happened to you whoopsie daisy uh, uh, no i had a button here okay well, i went to i went to stellarium have you guys got Stellarium on your computers? I'm not sure. Yeah. Star Map? Yes, yeah, it's really cool. Star Map, it, it, it moves with the time and shows you the, the things in the sky. Like right now, Jupiter. Okay, you guys are right over there. Jupiter, Saturn, Antares, and Altair are up there. So, but anyway. Uh, so I look at that, which is not looking at the sky, but, but you know, but gutter, it, it gets boring, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, well, you know what I do every day, uh, PBR? I sit out on the deck and I stare at the sky uh, for at least an hour just to try to attempt to, to see something. And you know what I'll do is I'll say nice, positive things into the sky because you know what these UFOs, they like? they like when you feed their egos. So if you go outside and start saying pretty things to these UFOs, I guarantee you'll see one buddy. That's my advice to you. Really? <laughs> okay. All right, man. Sorry, you, you have all that sky. You have to take advantage of this, man. Please do it for me. I'll do it, but uh, I'm kind of afraid of those. I don't want to, I don't want the guy coming down and probing my ass like they did, to, you know, I haven't been probed. I've never been probed. I've been seeing these things all the time. I don't think I've been probed ever. I don't think you know. ever. In my honest opinion, PBR, I don't think they're ever going to come down and land. You know, I've seen people like Dan Aykroyd and other people saying they're they're just space tourists. They're kind of just flying over watching us. And and I kind of agree with that. I, I really don't think they'll ever get involved with us. So you think they're like? Uh, you think they're like? Going by our planet, like we go to the zoo and they're like, Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that guy! Oh, isn't he cute? Oh, okay, let's move on. It's exactly right. Yeah, I've heard of that the zoo, the zoo, the zoo thing where we're just a bunch of uh things that they look at. Well, PBR, let me ask you this real quick. Sorry to interrupt. You know, you asked somebody if they knew anybody if they had Corvid. Now, do you know anybody that's ever been a abducted by a UFO? What would make you have any fear of a UFO? <laughs> uh, just no, I haven't I haven't uh known anybody that's been uh you know abducted or even talked to or seen a UFO. But I, I, the reason I fear them is because of the media. You know, you watch some movies and, and uh, you know, like, I mean, all the way back to 70, what was it, 77, the Close Encounters? What's that, like 80? This is 20. That's like 43 years ago, man. Oh, so yeah. that's embedded in my, I actually had a, a first edition of the, of the screenplay. Wish I still had that. Wow. Close encounters. But yeah, that's what that was 77. Okay, 80, yeah, 43 years ago. Uh yeah, so I'm kind of scared of those guys grabbing me and taking me up in the craft. And well, like Whitley Strieber says, Oh, they probed me. I don't want that shit. <laughs> I don't want them probing my fucking ass. Literally. I don't want them doing that. But, you so, know. Of them, man. I'm not gonna call them down like you're saying. Go out there and say, "Hey, come and get me." No, man. No, no. I'm not saying, "Hey, come and get you." I'm just coming, like, "Hey, look, just go look at them. Watch them fly over. See if okay. you can do it." You know? Yeah. You know, cool. I just say, I just say, have good intentions when you're trying to look for them. You know, just put out some positive vibes. <laughs> hey, man. No, I don't want that, man. <laughs> I don't want that shit. Dude. I'm just trying. It's it's oh, been, no. it's been crazy. It's a wood it's a wood turning oh, chisel. Yeah. It's I'm gonna crazy. have nightmares <laughs> about that one. Man. <laughs> oh. It's a wood turning chisel. That's all it is. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not doing it. No, I miss everything when I'm I ain't going. I ain't going. You know, it still oh, goes haywire when I'm gone. 
Okay, now I'm going to have a nightmare about that, Green Man. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, man. I promise. <laughs> it's a wood turning chisel. Oh, wood turning chisel. That's all that it is. Uh, Depending on what wood you're talking about, I guess. It, you know. Man, PBR is scared of getting probed by aliens, Game Vet. Okay. Yeah. I don't want that happening. Well, because Gigi Gutter Gawker say, hey, go out there and kind of have good thoughts and bring them down to me. I don't want them coming down, man. Well, you just got to remember the alien with the rubber gloves is surprisingly gentle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And then I think of Linda Moulton Howe, and they're going to, you know, take a, what, a laser and cut out my butthole? Well, oh, listen, man. PBR. PBR, you'll be famous afterwards. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just don't I'll stick your ass in I'll be a side note, man. I'll be a side note. <laughs> got a milk carton. Have you seen this guy? Travis yeah. Walton and Chris Bledsoe are pretty famous, man. You could be up there. Yeah. Travis is still famous after all these years. Yeah, yeah. That, was earlier. that was like 75. Yeah. So that's 45 years he's been doing this. Before Close Encounters. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could work the seminar circuit with uh, George Norrie. <laughs> Have you seen that guy lately? Man, he's melting. The guy is melting. It's, it's That's all the hair dye. I don't know what is with that guy. He's like his eye and the, the skin below his eyes and his so hair dye melting down in his skin. Yeah. And... yeah. When did uh, George Norrie take the show from Art Bell? Uh, oh, dude, that would be somewhere around 2000... 2010, I think. Was well, he four, was seven, seven, yeah. seven, I think 2007, he, he took it over for a while because Art uh, hurt his back. So he kind of retired once and then he came back and did like uh, weekends. And right. then I think in 2010, he retired again. And that's when Nori took huh. over it and then uh, came out of retirement sometime in, I think, 12 or 13 and because nori had uh hit him with some kind of uh um competition clause in some contract and so he couldn't go back on the air until like, yeah. like 2013. Yeah. then he was on sirius for a while and then he was out on his own broadcasting out of his house in the philippines no he's in the philippines by then man oh yeah he was in the philippines uh way before that i think that was like um, mid nineties, oh. I think. Mid to late nineties oh, was, well, was in the Philippines. You know, his his wife didn't die till. Uh, yeah, oh, Ramona. Man. Ramona, I think, yeah. passed. Uh, uh, oh, in the trailer. Ninety-seven. Yeah, ninety-seven, ninety-eight. Yeah, she had an asthma attack in the trailer. Yeah, and then while they were weeks, on vacation. Yeah. Well, like three months later, he marries his, you know, eleven-year-old girl from. Uh, <laughs> From uh, Philippines, and she wasn't had, eleven years old. I don't think she was eleven. <laughs> but he, then he had his but show. compared to his age, you know, might as well been because, dude, he was like what, like in his fifties or something like that, and she was like, like hey, Green or something Man, something like that. Green Man, do you know that PBR got uh, kicked off of Art Bell's uh, show? I, I think I heard. Yeah, he, I, I think I, I remember hearing that episode. Yeah, so. for life, you know, not for remember, not for I, dogging yeah. anybody. I wasn't cussing or anything. Yeah. Yeah, it was like you were calling uh, calling from San Diego on the yeah. east of the Rockies line or some <laughs> shit like that. He got a whole piss about that, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Once I, I saw sure that button, that I, kept, I kept pushing that button because the first time I did it, he got all upset. You can't do that. I used to call in as the anarchist. He liked that. I'm not sure oh, why. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Hey, I remember him. Art. Yeah, all right, this is the anarchist. He goes, what is the way to say? What are you calling? Because he always asks, where are you calling from? I said, San Diego. This is the Easter Rocky. And he freaked out for like three, four minutes. And then I said, wow, this really gets him upset. He hang up on me, of course. And so I did it like a couple more times. And, and a third time, he said, all right, you're banned for life. And, uh, you know, like four minutes of trashing me and saying you can't do that you can't but I, you know i never trashed him or his guests or you know linda moton howe he had her on every sunday there on the ever dreamland 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She came, she'd come on and give reports, dude. She would like no matter where the fuck she was, she would phone her shit in, dude. Oh yeah, man. You know, it's like I remember it's like <laughs> I'm in a phone booth somewhere in Ireland or some fucking shit, you know. And she, dude, you could hear her right through her notes and shit in the phone booth, you know. Huh. But dude, she had, always had her shit. She was oh, it's yeah. like you know, she was no matter where the fuck she was on the planet, she was doing her damn airtime report. Oh you know? shit. Uh, going up to the crop circles or whatever. Yeah. You call in. Yeah, yeah. The, he had that on Sundays because, man, back in those days, guys, he was on for six hours a night. Yeah. Um, t- uh, I'm in San Diego, so it's 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. To like to 4. 4, yeah. 4 a.m. So times five, that's 30 hours. He said, oh, that's not enough. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a show called Dreamland on on Sundays, and Dreamland was the nickname of uh, Area 501, and that was a show he he, he called uh, uh, Linda Moulton Howe called in and was on that show every week. I'm not sure how long it went, you know, 95, 96, maybe a year, and then that's why if you look at her YouTube today, that's why she has 1,300 live people. And if you look at it later, that's why she had 3,000 views. It's because of our bell. That's all it is, because of our bell. And all those people remember her being on this show. You know, if you look at her, I, I tune in once in a while. There's 1,300 people listening to her bullshit. You know, cat hair all over her fucking shirt. Come on. She's not here fucking fruitcake. She's not here in a payday bar. Hey, game vet, have you ever heard Art Bell? I'm just wondering. Your your mic's muted. Yeah, yeah, I did. W- w- did you enjoy it? You got your mic on mute, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I watched it um, here and there. Well, um, you, well, I, you, it wasn't I, your time. It wasn't your era. You didn't like the show. No, I did. It's just the time that it was on, it didn't coincide with my hours. So I'd listen to maybe a half hour of it before it... Uh, As a trucker, yeah. though, you must listen to Coast and Coast quite frequently when you're driving late. I used to. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't a favorite of yours? <clears throat> I don't know. I just... It it was for a while, but then, but again, the hours... It, Doug, what's your favorite music of all time? What do you like? What do you like to listen to? I I, I listen to rock, like hard rock. Oh, yeah. Hard rock, like Green yeah. Man music, music. Yeah, yeah, the Green Man music. Yeah. Which I think we should probably get her. Should probably cut her off, guys. Oh, Doug was yeah, tired, guys. He made it two hours. Yeah. I, I had a lot of fun, you guys. I had a great, you yeah. know, Kimberly was awesome. The chat yeah, room's was. awesome. You guys are all the best. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks thank for hanging you. out with us. PBR is super cool. Green Man's the best. You guys are oh. awesome. Thank Area you, five, right, thank you. All you guys, you guys. You guys are all the greatest. Yeah. I think we'll end her off with a little Green Man music. Uh, PBR, thanks for... Uh, Coming in, chatting with us. Yeah, thanks, man. Green man, thank you. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Yeah, everybody, Better. you know. KO, Kimberly, KO. You know, awesome. KO, yes. Yeah, you just always feel welcome here. You're always welcome. So if you ever feel yeah, scared or anything, um, just give me an email or look us up on that uh, UFO Buster. Uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, Discord. The Discord. Discord, thank you. So, yeah, we'll be... We always chat on there usually 24 hours a day. I'm usually up until like 4 or 5 in the morning. So I'm on there in and out. You know, Green Man's on there most of the time. and uh, It's just a bunch of guys hanging out, and it's every, it's all the same people all the time. So, you know. Hey, but you know what? We, we keep on growing. You know, our little group keeps on growing with cool people, and that's, what, that's how I like us doing it, nice and slow and steady. You know, yeah. redwood trees don't grow overnight. You know, it takes their time. Right. Yeah. But thanks, guys. Thanks for chilling out with us for, what, two hours now? That was awesome. Yeah. I appreciate that. I really do. Wow. I'll see you guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh.
Good job, PBR. Later, great man. Later, Thank PBR. you, Doc. Yeah, Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. We'll see you at Area 503. Blue Chicken, Big Cat in the House, KO. We you got see? Chuck Bam. Chuck. Uh, hey. Yeah, and everybody else. And uh, yeah, that was a good show. Thank you very much. The Nears, some a green man, the man, the legend, green man. <laughs> the green man, he is, he is, uh, uh, dang it, I mean, man, I'm tired today or something. Uh, what, what do we call you? Hmm? Um, Magnum PI, what's his name? Oh, Tom Selleck, yes. Tom I've Selleck, got, yeah. So you didn't put that in your thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta we, make one. I gotta make a fake mustache. Yeah, we call him <laughs> Green Man Tom Selleck. He sounds just like him. All right. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Gutter. It was awesome. Thanks, Game Vet. Yeah, thank you, man. Hope I'll catch you down the road, hey, man. Buddy. Right, we'll see ya. <laughs> Six feet deep. Behold, I want to see it.